Okay, once again, this time hopefully for the last time, or maybe only until the next time, I'm not really sure. But whatever it is, I'm a believer. Hello there, YouTube, Lock and Load Ninjas, Interwebs at Large, Rumble, if I remember to post it on there. Hey, how's it going? Um, just back off the range with this gun, the SIG P320 VTAC, one of the X series. I'm fairly sure of this configuration <laughs> because I bought it new, which administrative note. I know now that this is actually a X compact grip module with a uh, with a I believe a X carry slide and I'm basing that off the fact that I have seen an older X carry slide without the optics cut but then it, it, it may just be a carry slide for all I know I don't know whatever it is I know that this is a hybrid gun it was not the X compact when I bought it I wasn't aware that this could be, this was a box of Legos or something when you buy these things. So I just went by the grip module. Whatever it is, however it is, I like it. Enough said. The VTAC. Well, there's a lot of things to talk about with the VTAC. The VTAC is Vikings Tactics. This is the Kyle Lamb uh, collaboration between SIG and Viking Tactics. Um, very, some very subtle differences in here. Um, one of which is the day-night sight. The day-night sight, you have a fiber optic there on top and you have tritium below it. So you actually have six dots instead of three. And then there's some, <laughs> there's some other features we're gonna talk about in the, de in the details very shortly. But um, shooting wise, there is a huge difference in shooting this and shooting that little gun behind me. And it's, it's so pronounced that I may try to find it inside the waistband holster for this. I mean, this is a good shooting gun. Um, I don't know. I, it would really be nice if they would make this in a, in a carry size, but I don't expect that. This is, I think considered to be a service pistol It's based, I think, I think, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong about this. It looks like it's based off of the Legion frame. But, oh, you know, like I said, I could be wrong because apparently these things have become like a Lego set. And people that own them just mix, they drop the, you know, drop the parts, take it apart, drop it into a pile and mix and match it and put it together and say, new gun, new configuration. So that's, that's sort of cool. But let's talk a few, let's talk a little bit about the details of this. So a few of you seem to like that slow motion while well, I was talking about this. So, the, you know, here, here's that for you to look at while we're talking about this. This, uh, the, the P320X series pistol is optimized with the VTAC day-night sights for enhanced visibility and target awareness. Slide comes equipped with some front slide serrations, a straight X-series trigger brings it all together for some crisp, sharp performance. And that straight trigger breaks at 90 degrees very cleanly. Perfect for precision and accuracy. And as a matter of fact, it breaks the same way as the little gun that I have, the hybrid gun. An extended beaver tail and high undercut trigger guard promote a higher grip and improved recoil control. The 320X VTAC brings with it this heightened level of performance to the P320X series pistols. Now, once again, unless it comes together on the range, that paragraph I just told you about, that doesn't mean nothing.
So coming off the range, one of the things that was, I mean, the, the difference way the, in, in the shooting characteristic of this gun and the little smaller hybrid gun is stark. I mean, it is so much better. Um, maybe it's because of the weight. Maybe it's because of the of the sights. Maybe it's just because of the longer sight radius. I don't know what's baked into this to make it so much better. Um, the grip is a little bit bigger. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, it is really well imagined and executed. And uh, I get it. I get it. The problems that SIG was having, whatever those were back in the day, they don't exist anymore. And my issues are solved as far as I needed a gun I could shoot accurately and I needed a gun I could shoot fast. I've got the accuracy back. Now I've got to learn this trigger enough to get that speed built up. And uh, I'm going to be talking with uh, Super Dave Harrington about that on this week's show to talk to him about it when he comes on the show on Tuesday. And uh, maybe I'll even drive down and get a lesson or two from him. Hmm. We'll see. How about some viewer comments? So first up, a comment from the Taxol, the, the uh, Tactical Solutions Ruger 1022 Takedown Franklin Armory collaboration from Gunfighter 45 ACP. We get, I'm short on coins to flip, so I'll just say I like the, both the binary trigger and the takedown features. Shoot it in good health. Thank you, sir. Man, that's light. Then from the erroneously named uh, SIG P320X Compact video, my apologies, we get Chris B. That doesn't look like an X Compact, it's too big. You're right. You are absolutely right, Chris. And then from Keenan Gilliam. Love the X-Compact. Many probably told you you can expand it with various modules. Have at it. The sky's the limit, especially now with aluminum frames modules out in on the market. I might do that later. I don't know. I don't know. I've had a few people recommend the Wilson Combat frame for that. I don't know. I'm just happy to find two pistols I can carry dedicated for different purposes that are both accurate that I can figure out how to shoot fast once again. Let's wrap this up. In the next couple of days or something, I'm going to film the video for the belt rig that I got for this from High Threat Concealment. The low vis belt. Uh, this is one that I refer to as the Secret Service belt, although I've got a stacked AR-15 magazine setup. So I don't think this is going to vanish underneath a sport coat. So maybe not the Secret Service. I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, that's coming up next. Very happy with this. Very happy with the SIG lineup. I'm The only gun that I'm going to try, the last gun I'm going to try, is going to be the CZ P10C. And then I'm going to put them, I'm going to set up targets and I'm going to measure them both for accuracy. And then I'll have two striker fired pistols, two different types of striker fired pistols that I can carry happily. And at this particular moment, uh, although I love CZ and they are a sponsor, uh, right now I can't get a hold of a P10C until that moment comes. It'll be SIG. If you like this kind of content, and I hope you do, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up. Maybe think about subscribing to the channel. That'd be nice. If you do subscribe, if you're kind of enough to do that, which most of you that watch these aren't, haven't figured that part out yet. But, uh, you know, hit the notifications, hit the all part of the notifications and we'll let you know when the videos are out there. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this, view this, comments, you know, thumbs up. I appreciate, thumbs down. I know you know how to do it. <laughs> so, I'm out of here.